Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Love and Jesus, and today we're on Proverbs 8.32. Now, therefore, listen to me, my children, for blessed are those who keep my ways. When I began to study this verse, I decided to look at my children and how we become children of God. As I looked in scripture, I saw John 1, 12 through 13. To all who received him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become child of God. Children not born of the natural descent nor human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. We become children of God by receiving Jesus and believing in his name. And God loves his children. And this verse is saying, you are my children because you've received and you believe my name. Now listen to me and keep my ways and you will be blessed. One of the ways that Satan takes us away from the path of God and teaches us a lie, I believe, is to tell us that God's way and listening to him is not going to be good for us. And we can fill in the blank with so many different ways. Sometimes people get stuck and they don't want to follow God on big decisions because they're like, oh, this is a big decision. I really got to make sure there's a lot at stake. So it has to be my decision. And sometimes people just don't want to listen to God on some of the smallest decisions or think, why does it matter? Why do I have to pray about everyday decisions with God? Um, he doesn't have to lead me. But God is telling he will lead us just as if your own child, if your child really wants direction, whether it's something as small as how to spend his time that afternoon or his money or a big decision about what path that child may want to go, you wouldn't say, okay, well, this is too small. I don't really want to give you directions or this is too big. I don't want to give you directions. And even if there's something like you're saying, I can't really tell you specifically what to do, but I can give you some information on this decision and this decision and this decision, you wouldn't say, okay, I can't listen to you at all. If you really loved your child and your child has come to you direction. Well, God is so much more than that. If we go to him and we ask him, he may not tell us that second, may start giving us information or he may tell us or he may just let us know it's going to be okay and he will guide us when the time is right and give us the answer when the time is right he's going to guide us so i pray today not to listen to the enemy and the lies that god can't direct you and his ways can't be a blessing I pray that the Holy Spirit has helped you with the word of God today, and I thank you for listening.